When a group of military officers raided the executive mansion of President William Tolbert, Liberia experienced the first coup d'etat of its 133-year-old history. As news spread of the downfall of the Tolbert government, the general populace grew anxious. Tolbert's government had made their lives miserable. He had increased the price of food and used his private army and police to terrorize and kill those who disagreed with his policies. With Tolbert dead, the rest of his cabinet would now stand trial. In all cases, their charges would be the same. High treason, misuse of public office, rampant corruption, and gross violation of human and constitutional rights. Sit down. Promulgated by Melinda Decree. Sign and order approved. It is hereby enacted by the People's Redemption Council of the Republic of Liberia, one, high treason. It shall constitute the crime of high treason, a first degree felony, if a by remnant corruption, a public officer selfishly accumulates wealth to himself and thereby denies or negates a fair distribution of the national wealth to his fellow citizens, and thereby necessitating a military coup d'etat as the only means of liberating the people. Signed, Master Sergeant Samuel K. Do, Chairman of the People's Redemption Council and Head of State of the Republic of Liberia. Chairman, I am not guilty of any act of treason as outlined in the act by you, which I have just heard, read, as uh, proposing projects, programs, and plans for the government. which were mainly intended to serve people. What we want to know here is that you have worked in the government for 18 years. And on top of that, you are a Liberian citizen. We want to know whether, in your own opinion, the democratic processes that have been going on through the years, the Liberian government, in the instrumentality of the true party, do you think it has been monopolized by just few people which has excluded the masses of the Liberian people from taking part? That's the question. It has not taken into account the feelings of the masses of the people because the decisions were made by only a few people. The military tribunal tried 13 government officials of the Tolbert regime. All of them were found guilty and condemned to death by a firing squad. A public execution was to be staged on the beachfront of Monrovia, Liberia's capital city. The new leader of this country, Master Sergeant Samuel Canyon Doe, declared these executions would mark the end of this country's oppression. The Liberian people were eager for the executions to begin. The sooner Tober's men were shot, the sooner their country could enter an era of civilian rule. For nearly an hour, the condemned men sat in the bus and watched crews erect their execution posts on the quiet beachfront. It would now be a matter of minutes before they would die.